safe on the road and keeping you that way should Florida make it easier for cops to pull you over for texting while you're driving. As we've been reporting, some state lawmakers in other areas want to make that happen in this year's upcoming legislative session in March. Four in your corner wants to know if one of your local lawmakers is on board with that. And four in your corner is Sabina Basin working to get you that answer. Right now, texting while driving is considered a secondary offense, which means that an officer has to see you doing something else first, like speeding, to pull you over for texting while driving. So the question is, should it be a primary offense? Should an officer be able to pull you over for texting while driving? I caught up with State Rep Heather Fitzenhagen to get you that answer. Help yourself with some Okay. Representative Fitzenhagen was meeting with constituents to ask what they wanted her to do in Tallahassee on multiple issues this spring. So I asked if she thought texting while driving should be a primary offense, but she wouldn't say yes or no. I think there's more to it than it being a primary or secondary offense. The way I view it is that you are distracted. And she says no one should be driving distracted. The trouble, she says, is proving it which she says can be tricky with the law as it is. Wherein the problem lies is if you're trying to prosecute on texting, you have to have proof. So you're either going to have to have an omission from the person that was driving, or you would have to find some other means to prove it. And it's very difficult to prove. And even if it is proven, the fine is a mere 30 bucks. She sounds open to stiffening that punishment. I would, I would consider possibly escalating the penalty, and then I would definitely consider escalating the penalty for subsequent offenses without a doubt, with a high multiplier for that. I also checked with a top official at the Lee Sheriff's Office, who happened to be there too. Well, it should be a primary offense because when you're texting, you're not watching what you're doing, which is you're driving. You're not paying attention to the road. You're not paying attention to other drivers. It can cause traffic crashes. Fitzenhagen points out that you can still be ticketed for distracted driving, which is a separate offense from the texting violation. That there are ways that they could be more aggressive about enforcing it. Um, you certainly can pull someone over if they exhibit um, or manifest signs of distracted driving. And that is a primary offense. So what's your take on this? Do you think texting while driving should be a primary offense? Have you seen anyone get pulled over for this? Or have you yourself been pulled over under the current law? If so, we want to hear from you. Give us a call at 239-206-FOX4. Reporting in Cape Coral, Sabina Basine, Fox 4 in your corner. Thank you, Sabina. Also